Following my 11 Labs Python tutorial, I've had a few people ask about how to use custom voices with the 11 Labs API. So here we go. To start off, I've got this simple bit of code which is going to play a pre made voice just to make sure that that works. You will need to use your API key to play custom voices. And that's why I've got the API key code in there. If that's a little bit confusing for you, then please check out my other video about how to safely put your API key in your Python code. So let's play this and just make sure that it works. Hi, I'm an 11 Labs voice. Hello, Bella, nice to meet you. Okay, to use a custom voice then, we can use the same code, but we just change this voice name into our voice ID for our custom voice. And that's the tricky bit. How do we find that voice ID? There are two ways. The easiest way is to go to the 11 Labs API documentation page, and we can get it from there. And the other way is to actually use Python code to find it. Let's do the API docs first. The 11 Labs API documentation is useful, not just because it's documentation, but it has an interactive feature, which is pretty cool. So let's go down to the voices bit, and that's what we want to get a list of all the voices that are accessible to our account. So we click on that, and you can put in your API key here, but as you can see, it's not clickable. That's because first of all, you need to press this try it out button. That's the interactive part. Now you can execute this without putting in an API key. So let's do that first of all. And here we go. We're running the voices uh, command, which is gonna give us a big list of voices. But as we can see from the category here, these are all the pre-made voices. So at the moment, I think it's about 40 or so pre-made voices. If you want to see your custom voices, you need to put in your API key here. How do you find your API key? You probably know already, but just in case, over in the main 11 labs page, make sure you're logged in and then go to your little avatar icon, click on profile and your API key is here. It's hidden um, by default, but if you press that I icon, you can make it visible. Then you can copy it and paste it back in the previous page. Back in the documentation page, I've copied and pasted my API key into this box. So let's execute again. Initially, it looks like nothing has really changed from before because the voices list always starts with the pre-made voices. So at the beginning, it's the same. The custom voices are right at the end of the list, added to the end. If I scroll right down, then hopefully they should be there. There we go. Right, this is a custom voice. Excel, slow speaking and deep British voice, ideal for books. And we can see it's a custom one because it says generated here. So any custom voices you have, the category will be generated, not pre-made. Uh, that's Valley Girl. Another one I've got is Valentino there. Okay, so with custom voices, rather than using the name, and there could be more than one voice with the same name, go for the um, voice ID instead. So here we are, voice ID. I'm going to copy and paste that, and let's use it in our code that we just saw. Right here in our test code again, let's get rid of Bella. Let's paste in Valentino the voice ID and save this. If you don't have an API key set, you'll get an error. It won't be able to play the voice. So make sure you've set the API key and let's go over and run this again. Hi, I'm an 11 labs voice. Wow. Hello, Valentino. <laughs> okay. It worked. That's how you find your voice uh, ID for your custom voices and then use it in your code. We used the uh, 11 labs API docs interactive feature, but we can get the list of voices with Python code. So let's see how to do that as well. I've got a new file here to show how to grab the list of voices. I've set my API key already, and you will need to do that if you want to get your custom voices. If you don't set an API key, you will just get a list of all the pre-made voices. There won't be any custom voices in there. Right, that's all set then. And so in the API documentation, we saw that the command was called voices. That's what we use here. And it's part of the 11 labs object, the 11 labs Python package. Let's assign it to a variable just called voices. And that will equal the 11 labs object. And within that, the command or the function called voices. That's it. The list of voices is now inside that variable called voices. So all we need to do next is print it out. 
we will actually get a big block of text if we just print it out. So I think it's better to loop through and print out each voice individually to make it easier for us to see. So for each, uh, let's just call it voice because that's what it is, in the list of voices, and we'll just print out the voice. That's still a lot of text, so to break it up, I'm going to print uh, an empty line after each voice. And that's all we need. So I'm going to save this and let's run it. OK, very quick. If we scroll up, we can see, yep, yeah, that is the full list of all the voices. And just like before, the custom ones are added to the bottom. So in this case, it's actually easier to see them because they're added at the end of the full list. Just like before, uh, to use this in our program, we copy uh, the voice ID, then paste that in your Python program, and you have custom voices from the 11 Labs API.